And earlier today, dozens of churches and thousands of parishioners took to the streets. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. Thousands marched in the wake of the two officers who were cleared of criminal charges in the deaths of Brown and Garner. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross hit the streets with St. Tobinus, Father Michael Flager. Music blanketed those praying inside St. Sabina. God is still in control. But if churchgoers wanted to see Father Michael Flager's full sermon, they needed to be... We're ready for the revolution. Yeah. ...in two separate places. Hey, Lord, don't shoot. When your hands are up, it's reaching to the strength and the power. About an hour into Sunday services, parishioners left the pews, preferring the pavement. Walking in the freedom land. Police blocked off the streets so hundreds could march, young and old, all in solidarity. We are one. At 79th and Racine, prayer and protest intersected. There were demands for action. We are ready to fight. There were calls for calm. I hurt for those whose breaths have been taken away by the prayerless. I can't breathe. Again, we take a deep breath. At least three different religions were represented in the demonstration. And could we please create a circle in the middle here? Some displayed signs demanding police accountability. Others took part in a simulated display of death. Thank you for bringing us all here today in unity as one. What do you hope this accomplishes? People pay attention. Where is the justice, God? Protesters outside of church with a message they say is too important to keep confined to any chapel. Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. And our Derek Blakely is live in the newsroom. He spent much of the day on the west side with protesters there. Derek. My and Jim, as many as 500 worshipers left the pews of nine west side churches to shut down the intersection at Madison and Pulaski, an hour-long demonstration that underlined how deeply the sense of injustice has spread. In black churches across the west side, this was a day of disruption. Sunday worship disrupted for protest. We must disrupt our lives, our regular way of doing things. We must disrupt in order to make a statement, and this is our statement today to the world. About 50 marchers poured out of New Mount Pilgrim Church. Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! Walking four blocks to Madison and Pulaski, heart of the west side. There, joined by other churchgoers, often the most conservative members of the black community. We can't just sit around and wait for things to change. The demonstrators filled the intersection, walking, chanting, and praying. The blood of Michael Brown yeah. is crying from the ground. Yeah. We come because the cry of Eric Gardner yeah. has been heard in heaven. Yeah. And now the whole world is moving. Yeah. It's a demonstration that reconnects the black church and civil rights, something some here haven't seen on such a large scale since the 1960s. Black preachers laying down in the intersection to symbolize the loss of black lives, accompanied by 11 minutes of silence. Several ministers told me the small minority of cops is overpowered. I should say the small minority of bad cops is overpowered by the code of silence among police. They're hoping these demonstrations will encourage good cops to blow the whistle, knowing they'll have community support. Live in the newsroom, Derek Blakely, CBS 2 News. Jim and mine. Thank you, Derek.